Hello and welcome to my channel, It's a Tailored Life. My name is Taylor and today's video is full of cleaning motivation. It has been a while since I've posted a video and I'm so happy to be back. Welcome if you are new here, if you are returning, welcome back. I have to catch you guys up on where I have been, but I have missed you all so much. My house was recently a mess the other day and I needed to get things all cleaned up and back in order and I thought this is the perfect time for me to reach out and just connect with you guys again, get some cleaning motivation out there, get back into the cleaning community that I love oh so much. So I definitely had a day of resetting where I just had to clean everything up in the house. There was a disaster going on and you guys know my house gets really messy really quickly and so I just have to get things back in order. So I just took a full day to get things all cleaned up. I started out in the kitchen because I just felt like that's where I needed to start with the mess. Like my living room was a pretty big mess, but the kitchen is where I needed to get started. It had been really neglected. So since I've been gone, let me just catch you guys up really quick. <laughs> since I have been gone, one of my really good friends got married. I was a bridesmaid in her wedding and it was just a lot of like preparation and activities going into that. So I have been very, very busy um, these past two months, just like doing all the things. And then <laughs> I was just ready to get back into my regular routine and my boys got sick. Um, it's allergy season right now. I live in South Florida, so allergies are just really out of control here right now. And both of my boys, they, it's getting to, it's getting the best of them. <laughs> so on this day, well, actually the day before this day, we were at home kind of relaxing and we recently got our backyard fenced in, which I'm going to talk about that later. And the boys have been spending a lot of time outside. Now, the only issue with that is they usually come in every day sneezing runny nose, watery eyes. And so the day before this, I thought it was just like regular allergies, but my older son started to not feel well. My younger son, his sneezing kind of turned into a cough. So like that night, we kind of just went to bed with the house a mess because both of them started not to feel well. So I kind of just went into mommy mode, trying to get them taken care of. So I wanted to start here in the kitchen because I wanted to get like all of the dishes cleaned up and put away. I also needed to restock. We were running out of things, so that is why I started in the refrigerator. I needed to get that all cleaned out, get rid of anything that was old or expired that we didn't use, any leftovers that we did not eat. I wanted to get rid of those so that I could see what we needed and what we had left over so that I can get that all restocked. Now, I know you see the pot from my crock pot in here, and I've talked about this before. So. I don't really use our microwave a lot um, to reheat leftovers. What I will normally do is I will keep my leftovers in whatever I cook them in and just put it back. So if I cook them in a pan in the oven, I will just keep them in that pan, put it in the refrigerator, and the next day I just put that same pan back in the oven to reheat it. So the day before I made, um, what did I make? I'm not, I wanna say beef stew, but it, it um, it's like beef stew, but it's not beef stew. I can't think of the name of it. I made a pot roast. There we go. <laughs> I made a pot roast the day before. Um, so once we ate dinner, I just put the entire bowl from the crock pot in the refrigerator. And then what I do the next day is I just put it right back in the crock pot, turn it on low and let it slowly just reheat and dinner is good. Now, the only way I will use the microwave is if we have a lot of leftovers and it's like, I would be wasteful to reheat it again and like ruin it all and have to throw away whatever we don't eat. But that is why there was the pot <laughs> from the crock pot in the refrigerator. Um, once I finished there, I went ahead and started just cleaning off the counters and getting ready to get the dishes taken care of. But I want you guys to let me know in the comment section um, what you guys have been up to these past two months. I feel like it's been two months and maybe a little bit more. I can't remember um, what you all have been up to these past two months. How is your spring going? I love to always ask you guys about the weather where you are because I do live in South Florida and I do feel like our weather is a lot different <laughs> from most places throughout the year like when you guys are having like a real winter we're having like a a cool winter so right now it's spring for us and it is starting to warm up like 
not that it got super cold, but it was very cool. And we were having like cool mornings where every day our mornings would be around about 65 degrees. Um, we're now warming up like by 10 a.m. It's usually 80 degrees here. So I just was wondering how's the weather for everyone else? Are you guys still dealing with cold weather or is it feeling like spring wherever you are? Definitely let me know in the comments. Walk within your maze My head is dizzy like the purple haze I don't know where we're going But the clues that you are throwing Are leading me back home to you Cause you got the feeling This time. Okay, so now that we've got the counters all cleaned up and all the dishes um, and the dishwasher are put away, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off this stove top. And I'm using the pink stuff. This is my favorite thing to clean the stove top off with. I don't feel like I get like really great results with anything else. Now, when I'm putting it on my stove top, I put on a glove and I scoop it out with my hand. And that is because I feel like when I stick my scrub daddy directly into the pink stuff and like try to scoop it like that, because the scrub daddy has so many holes and is so porous, I feel like I waste a lot of the pink stuff because it just goes into the scrub daddy and doesn't, I feel like I use more <laughs> whenever I use the scrub daddy to actually scoop it out. So I prefer to just use my hand. Um, I always wear gloves when I do it. And I also wear gloves because of my nails. I don't want to get it like stuck under my nails, but I feel like I use less and it gets further when I just scoop it out with my hand. After I scrub it, I just wipe it off and buff it to make sure it has like a, sh a really nice shine and like no real streaks or anything like that. 
So everything is all cleaned up in here. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep the floors. I need to mop, but I also need to mop our family room and dining room area. So I'm gonna just mop both of those areas at the same time. So for right now, I'm just gonna sweep in this area. And once I'm done sweeping, I'm gonna come back later and mop this up. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just now we are moving into the real disaster. So our family room area and our dining room area there's just so much mess going on out here it literally looks like the night before we just stopped everything we were doing and just like left so I was working on laundry I had a few loads of laundry that I was working on I kind of fell, fell behind with the laundry and was trying to get caught up and literally while I was folding the boy started to not feel well I also had these items that I picked up from my storage and they have my spring and summer decor in them and I was ready to bring those decorations out, but I'm not going to put them up yet because I don't like to pull out like decorations and mess. When I picked them up from the storage, the house was clean, but I just left them sitting there for so long. And now the house is a mess again. And I just cannot imagine myself decorating in any of this chaos right now. So before I start putting up any decorations, I have to get everything all cleaned up. So that will be for another day. I just went ahead and I pulled them up into our formal living room area so they're out of the way so that I can clean up. But I'm definitely going to bring them back into this area so that I don't forget that I wanted to put all of my decor back up. And now I'm going to start working in the family room area, just getting things here tidied up and put away where they belong. I'm also going to go ahead and fold these clothes and get those clothes all put, all put away too. So as I was cleaning up, I realized that I had not had the chance to show you guys since I got it. I got a new vacuum cleaner. I actually got it a while ago. It was on clearance at Walmart. It's a new LG um, pink vacuum cleaner. I love it so much. But I wanted to tell you guys like one of my favorite hacks lately. I have been wiping things down with a microfiber towel first without any product. And as you can see, there was so much dust on there and I feel like it helps with cleaning and like wiping things down so much better because I'm not wiping the dust around. So what I do is I wipe first while it's dry, get up all of the dust, and then after I get all the dust up, I go back, I spray it, and I wipe it down just to get it all clean. But I have definitely been doing this like all over the house and it's been saving me a lot of trouble because I hate to see like dust get wet and just kind of get stuck to whatever surface it's on. Like uh, it's like a ick for me. So definitely try that, like wipe with a microfiber towel first, or you can try it with a Febreze duster. Um, I usually will do that too, especially in my bath, in my bedroom, I'll wipe the area first with the duster, get all the dust up and then go back and wipe with a cleaning product. And with the um, duster, I keep calling it a Febreze duster because it smells good. I was going to say it also smells really good. So it's a, if it's an area that you feel like you don't have to spray down and wipe, you could just wipe with that and it does leave a really nice scent afterwards. 
So now I am folding all of these clothes. I had about two and a half loads of laundry that I needed to fold and get put away. And as I'm folding, you'll see I'm kind of separating things. And what I do whenever I fold laundry is I separate it by where it goes and like who it belongs to. So we all have like organized drawers in our rooms. And so what I'll do is I will kind of separate each clothing item as it goes into a drawer. So I'll put all of my shirts together, all of my shorts together to make putting things away really easy. I can just grab a pile, walk it straight to where it goes and put it right into the drawer instead of like mixing things up and then having to sort them out later. It's just easier for me to sort them as I'm folding them. And while I was folding laundry, I was actually watching YouTube videos. I was watching a video on someone giving a tour of a double wide trailer and I actually love to watch these videos. Um, it just makes me so grateful for the home that I have. I know sometimes watching YouTube, I can watch other YouTubers and feel like, oh, I wish I had a bigger house. I wish I had a newer house. But when I see someone like looking at a house that's smaller than mine or anything like that, it makes me feel like I really need to appreciate what I have um, and focus on what I have, like making my home better for me instead of trying to figure out ways to get a new home or what can I do different to make my home like someone else's and I feel like watching those and watching other people be really grateful for what they have is just a reminder that we all have to be really grateful for what we have no matter what it is that we have whether it's a small apartment or a trailer or a home or a big home like whatever it is that you have definitely like be grateful for what you have and make the best of it. Like if you love on your home and you take care of it, you clean it, you treat it well, like I feel like it shows in our home. Whenever I clean up and decorate, I feel like I love my house so much, but if I neglect it and I let it get messy and I don't take care of it, I'll feel like, oh my goodness, I need a new home so bad. So I've just been really loving those videos lately because it's just really teaching me to Work on what you have, like the saying, the grass is green where you water it. Definitely, like those videos give me that type of inspiration. Now that I've got these areas all cleaned up, it is time for me to mop the floor. But before I mop, I wanted to boil some water. I really like to put extremely hot water in my mop bucket when I'm mopping, especially when I'm doing like a really large area just to make sure I get all of the germs out of here. Like I said, my boys were kind of not feeling well, so I wanted to make sure I got everything taken care of. So while I had that large pot of water boiling, I went ahead and started cleaning up in my boys' bathroom. Um, there were just a lot of things that were left out. I had recently done my hair. I washed it and I blow dried it, which is <laughs> why it looks so big. Um, I kind of just washed it and blow dried it and just let it have a break. Like I said, I was in a wedding recently and I had to have my hair styled a certain way for the wedding and then before the wedding there was also a lot of like styling and manipulation going on with my hair like over the past two months it was a lot of things like happening a lot of activities happening we went on a bachelorette trip um, once we came back from the bachelorette trip we did a bridal shower um, we did rehearsal dinner so like um, there were different styles for just about every event so I 
after washing my hair after the wedding i kind of just wanted to give my hair a break so i like washed it and blow dried it and i kind of just left it like poofy just to give myself some time to figure out like you know what i want if i just want to straighten my hair and leave it or if i want to wear it curly i just gave it a second just to be hair so i needed to clean up all of those things in the bathroom for me doing my hair and also just like a regular tidy up it was time for me to like clean their tub which i clean their tub pretty often because they take baths they're starting to get into showers um but the only thing with showers showers get really messy and if my older son takes a shower my younger son wants to get in the shower and my younger son will sit directly under the shower head and so like at night he's coming out of the bathroom and his hair is like soaking wet every night and he's had a few nights of going to bed with wet hair and i try to avoid that because his hair is really thick and it holds the water so like i just don't like the idea of that so i've been kind of pushing them to continue taking bath baths at night so i just like every other day if not every day i'll just go in spray it and wipe it down so that's what i did today their bathtub doesn't get very dirty because i'm cleaning it so often and i do use a gentle cleanser um i use the method bathroom cleanser because they do take baths i'm always worried about any chemicals being left behind like i don't want it floating in their bath water so i'm very careful about that but i did like clean their toilet and everything and i did want to go ahead and mop now I am using the O Cedar Spin Mop bucket and that's because I just needed a bucket but I'm not using the Spin Mop mop and that is because when I'm mopping this area behind their toilet I feel like the Spin Mop doesn't get back there as well as I would like it to so I just used um, a different mop this time for a while I was mopping in their bathroom just because I wanted to get that clean back there and I'm a boy mom and if you're a boy mom you understand why I have to <laughs> make sure it's clean around that toilet now the boiling water is done so i'm going to pour it into my well it's not done it was really hot <laughs> so i'm going to pour it into my uh, mop bucket and i got this really big mop bucket from sam's club anytime i'm doing like the kitchen the dining room and the family room area i try to use just like a really big bucket because i feel like when i'm using my small cedar i have to change it every time i change areas because the water it's so small i feel like the water gets dirty really quickly so I wanted to use something bigger just to make it really easy and convenient for me to flow from one space to another I still definitely use my O Cedar Spin Mop I just on this day wanted it to be like quick and easy to go ahead and get all three spots at one time Now, once I finished mopping, the boys' bathroom floor was all dry, so I went back in there to put everything back in its place. And as you can see, my three-year-old, he is now fully potty trained, so I have a little potty in here for him. And we also have a step stool for him just so he can like get ready in the morning at the bathroom sink just like his brother does. So I was just putting everything back. Now, after I did this, I did take a break and I ran out and picked up a quick grocery haul. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. I went to Walmart and Sam's Club. Awesome. 
Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a quick grocery haul. It's got to be quick because I got cold stuff out like these popsicles. So I'm going to go really fast. This is just like a restock grocery haul. Um, I'm going to start over here. All of this stuff I got from Sam's Club. I got this cute raincoat. It was on sale for $7.00. I got that for um, my three-year-old Lincoln. He's starting pre-K next year. It's a little bit big, but I wanted to be able to last him at least for the whole school year. So I was like, I'm gonna go a size up because he's not gonna start pre-K until um, school starts this after the summer. So I love that it was on sale for $7, so I grabbed that. I restocked on some snacks. My kids eat goldfish just about every day. These muffins, same thing, at least once a day, both of them are asking. I got this little variety pack of snacks because I like to give them like other options if they wanna try something different. And I wanna say each of these was about $10 each, but this will last me for a while. Um, I got these chips, they were $4.48 each. Um, I get these because when we eat tacos, I usually eat my tacos like nachos. And I also always get this buffalo chicken dip and I'm usually the only one who eats this but I like to eat it with those chips and it's just cheaper for me to get it from Sam's Club unless like Publix is having them on BOGO or something um I know it looks like I have a ton of cheese and I do and that's because we have an event coming up and I have to make two large pans of macaroni and cheese and I like to use real cheese so I did some math and just tried to figure out what was the most like efficient when it comes to price way to buy the cheese. I wish they had this size bag and sharp cheddar. They did not have this size, but it was cheaper for me to actually get these from Sam's Club than like this bag at Walmart. It turned out to get this for cheaper. So I got these bags of cheese from Sam's Club. I got these because we use them when we make tacos and we make tacos at least every Tuesday. So I always like to get that from Sam's Club. This is gonna go into the macaroni and cheese that I'm making. And I love Sam's Club cookies, y'all. I try so hard not to buy these, but I love these cookies. These are my favorite cookies. So I had to pick some of those up. And I also got a big case of juice because if you saw in the refrigerator, we are getting low on juice. My kids only have one a day, so this will last me a while, but it's just cheaper and easier, more convenient for me to buy it from Sam's Club like that. Now, this is my little Walmart haul. And if you're not new here, you know I don't like stock up on a lot of food during the week because I don't want anything to go to waste. If we change our mind, I don't want to waste anything. So this weekend, um, my husband is gonna grill. So I got some hamburger patties and some hot dogs because I'm gonna have some leftover macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna make some for us and we're gonna have some baked beans and kind of have like a barbecue going. I'm gonna get some chicken. I didn't grab any today because it wasn't looking too good, the options that they had. So I didn't get chicken. This is for today. This is just a little small pack of ground beef because my husband wants to grill himself um, a burger. So I just picked this up so he can have that. I like to have these for myself, like when I'm home for lunch, this is just like a really easy lunch for me. I got some fries because my boys lately have been liking fries a lot and instead of us like going out doing fast food, I can just make some at home. And I keep these on hand because my three year old is obsessed with macaroni and cheese. So anytime I make something for dinner that he's just refusing to eat or something like a taco night where I know he doesn't like tacos, this is this is a really good option for him like so whenever like i just like to have at least two or three of these in the fridge at all times because it's a super easy and fast option i don't even microwave it like i just put it on the stove and warm it up really quickly um i got some more cheese um from walmart just to go with my macaroni and cheese I was like, I just want to make sure I have enough. And I got these chicken strips. These are another one of my favorites for lunch. Like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen my short. I like to make like the chicken ranch wraps. I'll just put those on a wrap with some ranch and some cheese and a little bit of lettuce. 
lunch is 10 out of 10. Um, I got these freeze pops just so the boys can kind of have them as they're going outside. I'm going to show you guys outside. We recently fenced in our backyard, so they spend a lot of time outside now. And I was like, you know, it's warm outside. This would be a really fun snack for them to have when they're outside. And the same thing with the sour cream. I just grabbed another one just to make sure I have plenty. And I got some buns for this weekend when my husband grills the hamburgers and hot dogs. We got our buns and the guy at Walmart was so nice. He saw me like picking through the buns looking for the freshest one. And he was like pulling up with a cart. And he was like, if you're looking for fresh bread, I have like what just came in. So he helped me pull these off of his cart. So I got the freshest bread. I hope it's uh, still really soft <laughs> when it's time for us to eat them. So that is everything from my haul. Now I'm going to go ahead and get back to cleaning. Well, I'm going to put this stuff away and then I'm going to go ahead and get back to cleaning. But before I get back to cleaning, I'm going to give you guys a look at the backyard now that we've got that fenced in. So this is our new fence. We got vinyl on the sides of the house and it goes back pretty far. But because we do have this water view, we did not want to get rid of our view at all. So we just did the regular chain link fence like the rest of the way back and across the back of the yard. This gave me and my husband so much like peace of mind and comfort because I would not let our boys go play in the backyard because of the water without like really close supervision. So having that fenced in, our boys get to go outside every day now. I can see them from our kitchen so they get to enjoy some outside time, which I really like. I like the peace of mind, the comfort of knowing like they're safe in our yard. Nobody can get in, nobody can get out. So we've definitely been loving that but like I said the allergies are on high alert right now because they are spending so much time outside in the grass but it's okay I'd rather them have fun than be stuck in the house during this time it's really nice outside right now so I came back in and I just straightened up my son's room I didn't go really too deep into detail with cleaning his room I just wanted to do a quick tidy up because I want him to clean it himself but sometimes I will just go in and help him out and like I said he was home um, the day before because he wasn't feeling well so I also wanted to just do a wipe down of some areas like high traffic areas just to kind of disinfect those spaces but once I finished up in his room I was all done with my reset like I felt like the house was back in order I wasn't feeling like overwhelmed with a bunch of mess <laughs> like I was before I started and I especially like having a really clean slate when the boys aren't feeling well because I just feel like it's less opportunity for germs to spread and it's less things for me to do when they aren't feeling well like it gives me more time to kind of just be present and relax with them if they just want to lay on the couch I'm able to do that because a lot of the things that I need to get done are already done now I was making up his bed and realized that his comforter needed to be washed and that is because I realized my boys play in their closet a little bit too much so I had to have a talk with them about playing in the closet because it looked like there was like slime or something on his comforter so I had to wash it again but I am finishing up in his room I'm just gonna wipe some things down and clean his mirror and then I am all done I really hope you all enjoyed today's video I am so sorry I was gone for so long but I am so happy to be back if you enjoyed this video definitely please give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and if you are new here and you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing I would love to have you I am a stay-at-home mom I love making cleaning motivation videos I like all other types of videos but my house is usually always a mess so I'm usually always cleaning if you like those type of videos again definitely consider subscribing and I will see you all next time bye